If you look at a typical solar racer, they are incredibly slender and we needed to get a CDA of around about 0.21, which is very low by most uh, commercial car standards. What a lot of people also don't realize is that when it comes to solar car design, you also need to maintain you also need to maintain particular cell alignment. So the real challenge is not just being coming up with a shape that is aerodynamic and stylish, but it's also constrained by the alignment of the cells. Um, so my name is Davis and I'm the body designer for the EVX Immortus. Um, so firstly, one of the biggest challenges for the body design was um, maintaining good aerodynamics while also making the car actually look like a normal car as opposed to a pancake on wheels, which is what a lot of solar cars look like. Um, it's basically an aerofoil in disguise, um, which means we've got quite smooth um, top contours of the car. Um, the canopy's been blended into the, um, the bonnet of the car and also into the rear of the car just to maintain aerodynamic performance. As the designer Davis Tolley said, he basically took an aerofoil and then tried to make it look good. So how it was different from a lot of other vehicle design is that you had to start with the functionality in mind first and then make it look good. Uh, the interesting feature about the solar car or about the Immortus when you see it is that it has no rear view vision mirrors on the side. The reason for that is that this would disturb the aerodynamics. Therefore, we're gonna have a series of digital cameras around the vehicle that will create a display inside, specifically set up to give the driver a near 360 awareness of how the of the vehicle's position. Uh, this is something that's unique to the Immortus simply due to aerodynamics and once that technology is developed fully it will have many other applications. Particularly any scenario where you want to create awareness in an operator of what's going on around them, not just in front of them but also behind them.